Right now, crews are frantically searching for an 18 year old after he did not make it back to his boat. It's been over 24 hours since Xavier Frazier was last seen. At this point, Florida Fish and Wildlife still calling this a search and rescue operation. We're told that Frazier was celebrating his 18th birthday when he jumped off the boat to retrieve his hat. It flew off, but he never came back. Officials are asking boaters on the St. Johns River in the area of Dunn's Creek to exercise caution and stay clear of law enforcement vessels that are out there looking for this young man. We have live team coverage on the search for Frazier. Jessica Clark talked with the family today about all this, but let's start with Troy Kless. He has the latest right now on this search. Troy. Thank you, Jeannie. It's um, uh, been a long day out here where both the families of Frazier and his girlfriend who was with him yesterday have been waiting here since yesterday for any sort of update. It's been uh, tense, but there's still a sense of optimism that he could be found safe. If you want to take a quick look behind me, you see the uh, families are waiting um, at the end of the Browns Landing boat ramp right now and search teams. Meanwhile, they are working around the clock since yesterday. Since this started, they're doing all that they can to find him. Friends and family say Xavier Frazier was on a boat. According to Frazier's girlfriend, who was with him at the time, wind blew Frazier's hat into the water around four. She says he went into the water and his leg cramped while swimming. He never came back up. I am, I am completely heartbroken, honestly. Like, I never would imagine this would have ever happened to him or anything. He was such a good kid, always outgoing and everything. And I'm really just hoping and praying to God that they find him safe and alive. Jillian Shope, Frazier's friend, speaking to First Coast News by phone. She wasn't there at the time, but is praying that he is found. Several boats, helicopters, and drones from Putnam County Sheriff's Office and Florida Fish and Wildlife are being used to find Frazier. Chad Weber with FWC says they are using all available resources to find him. We have to uh, bring resolution to this family. Um, and right now, I mean, it's, a, it's tragic. And to, to think about what this family's going through.